Some of the Samsung Galaxy A series have been named among the top-selling smartphones 69 globally last year, with the Galaxy A54 5G 37 being a prime example. Despite featuring a generally disliked chipset, the in-house Samsung Exynos 1380, it was frequently praised for its excellent battery life, a robust design, and a fairly capable camera setup, all at a compelling price point starting at PHP 25K. Now, its successor, the Galaxy A55 5G arrives on the scene bearing the same price tag. While it touts a newer, more potent Exynos chipset, the pivotal question remains. Can the Galaxy A55 5G meet or even exceed the high expectations set by its predecessor? Let's discover in this comprehensive review. Design From the outset, the Galaxy A55 bears a striking resemblance to the Galaxy A54, particularly from a distance. However, upon closer inspection, discernible design alterations implemented by Samsung become apparent. The rear of the device features the same camera arrangement atop its glass back panel. The distinguishing factor lies in a few of the phone's color choices, specifically the Awesome Lemon and Awesome Lilac variants, the latter being the version under review. These options exhibit an iridescent quality, producing a sort of shimmering effect when illuminated. Depending on the angle of light incidence, the Galaxy A55's rear panel may display subtle rainbow hues, a feature absent in the Galaxy A54. Alternatively, for those favoring a more understated appearance, the awesome ice blue or awesome navy variants are available options. Furthermore, a minor design modification is evident in the frame. The edges of the phone are now uniformly flat, with a construction seemingly crafted from stainless steel accompanied by a vertically brushed, semi-glossy finish along the frame, lending it an authentic metallic feel. The volume rocker and power button exhibit slight protrusion and possess a distinct, smoother texture compared to the rest of the frame. Additionally, this texture seamlessly blends into the outer extremities of the phone's frame. This meticulous design approach enhances the Galaxy A55's visual appeal and lends it a distinct character. Although subtle at first glance, the attention to detail is commendable, especially considering this is a mid-range device. The front and back panels are protected by Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, ensuring robust build quality and scratch resistance. However, for added screen protection, the inclusion of a tempered glass protector is advisable. Moreover, the device retains its IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, permitting submersion in fresh water up to a depth of 1 meter for half an hour, as well as withstanding rainfall. Nonetheless, it is not suitable for swimming in beach or pool environments. In terms of connectivity, the volume rocker and power button are situated on the right side, while the bottom houses a speaker grille, a USB-C port, and two small apertures, with only the left aperture, when facing the screen, housing a microphone. The top section accommodates the second microphone and the hybrid SIM tray, which supports expandable storage via microSD. Notably absent on the left side is a second loudspeaker, a topic to be addressed in the subsequent section. Display and Multimedia Initially, I assumed that this device solely featured a mono speaker since there is no speaker grill at the top. However, it turns out I was mistaken, as the phone's earpiece serves as a secondary speaker, delivering equally robust stereo audio. Regarding audio quality, both speakers emit strong bass with clear mid-range frequencies. I must admit, I thoroughly enjoyed the music playback experience solely through the stereo speakers. Additionally, the presence of Dolby Atmos enhances the sound quality, providing a richer audio experience. Furthermore, the device offers an above-average viewing experience, courtesy of its 6.6-inch Super AMOLED display with support for a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate. This display can achieve up to 1,000 nits of peak brightness, making it suitable for outdoor usage. 
Moreover, users benefit from enhanced Kohler reproduction with HDR10 Plus support and high-resolution playback with Widevine L1 certification. During my testing of various YouTube videos with higher resolutions, I observed seamless playback of content exceeding 1080p. I successfully played a 2160p or Ultra HD video without encountering any noticeable lag, even when transitioning from Auto 4 8AP quality. My only concern pertains to the uneven bezels surrounding the display. The Galaxy A55 falls short in this aspect, particularly with the upper bezel and chin being slightly thicker than the sides. Consequently, the rounded corners of the display do not seamlessly align with the phone's frame, resulting in a minor discrepancy. Camera Returning to the rear panel, the Galaxy A55 is equipped with a triple camera setup comprising a 50 megapixel primary, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 5 megapixel macro lenses, mirroring the configuration of its predecessor. In favorable lighting conditions, the images captured by this device exhibit sharpness and relatively accurate color rendering. We tested it for outdoor photography, resulting in images showcasing the verdant surroundings of Taal Volcano. While the cameras deliver commendable dynamic range, closer inspection reveals a lack of clarity. Even in well-lit environments, noticeable noise is present upon zooming in. However, there is an improvement in night photography, particularly from the rear camera. In low-light settings, captured photos exhibit decent dynamic range and surprisingly reduced noise. Video recording capabilities are satisfactory, with the ability to capture up to Ultra HD 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, supported by optical image stabilization. Nonetheless, noise remains perceptible, even at 4K resolution. Self-portraits are not a strong suit of this device. It struggles to maintain consistent skin tones, often leaning towards warmer hues, occasionally exhibiting cooler tones in portrait mode. Furthermore, portrait mode usage in low-light conditions results in oversaturation and unnatural post-processing. Overall, the improvements in camera performance are not as significant as anticipated, likely attributed to the continued utilization of the same lenses. Nevertheless, the camera setup proves adequate for casual social media sharing. OS, UI, and Apps In terms of software, the Galaxy A55 operates on One UI 6.1, layered atop Android 14. Fortunately, unlike prior versions, the pre-installed apps in this device are manageable. It includes essential Samsung offerings, such as the company's browser, a replicated messages application, which now suggests users switch to Google Messages as the default. Additionally, the Samsung Store is present alongside various third-party applications like Spotify and Netflix. The software is flexible enough to permit the uninstallation of certain Samsung apps. What I particularly appreciated about One UI 6.1 on this device is its provision of a complete One UI experience. I particularly enjoyed the adaptive blur applied to specific UI elements like the notification panel, which introduces background blurring. Additionally, the media player benefits from a subtle audio waveform animation, which I found aesthetically pleasing. Moreover, it provides enhanced lock screen customization options. I also valued the fluidity of the phone's animations, including app navigation, fingerprint unlocking, and more. Speaking of biometrics, this model appears to incorporate an optical fingerprint sensor. As anticipated, unlocking with this sensor takes a fraction of a second longer compared to the ultrasonic sensors featured in Samsung's flagship smartphones. I also appreciated the adherence of One UI's design motif to Android's fundamental design principles. It maintains consistency. While utilizing the phone, I can confidently affirm that it embodies the essence of a premium Android device, rather than merely resembling a budget iOS imitation.
performance and benchmarks. Now let's discuss the elephant in the room, the Exynos 1480 chipset inside the Galaxy A55. Wait a moment as Samsung certainly crafted in this iteration. Apparently, it boasts significantly higher benchmarks than the Exynos 1380 on the Galaxy A54, as it should be. Previously on Antutu, the A54 only garnered 504,935, while on A55, it scored 728,172. Geekbench CPU scores on the Galaxy A55 are also relatively higher than its predecessor. The A55 achieved 1,143 on single core and 3,340 on multi cores. That's a drastic jump from A54's 893 and 2,291 scores, respectively. Well, benchmark scores don't necessarily reflect real world scenarios. During my gaming sessions, even after several minutes of playing Asphalt 9 at high graphics and 60 frames per second, the phone did warm up slightly, but it remained manageable. Genshin Impact is playable, albeit at low graphics settings. However, for less demanding titles like Mobile Legends, the Galaxy A55 will perform just fine. Although, one caveat is that the phone currently lacks the ultra graphics option in MLBB. Our unit comes with 8GB of built-in RAM that can be expanded by up to an additional 8GB. Storage capacity is 128GB, and as mentioned earlier, it supports a microSD slot for storage expansion, which is always a positive aspect in my opinion. Connectivity and Battery for connectivity, the Galaxy A55 features 5G capability with dual nano-SIM slots. There's also an eSIM support included, allowing you to insert a microSD card without compromising dual-SIM functionality. Other connectivity options include Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, and NFC. Regarding battery, the Galaxy A55 houses a 5000 mAh battery paired with up to 25W wired charging. However, the charging adapter isn't bundled in the package and must be purchased separately, which is quite disappointing. Now, concerning battery longevity, our tests yielded varied results. In PC Mark, the device managed to sustain operations for 13 hours and 12 minutes. In our proprietary video playback loop test, it lasted even longer at 22 hours and 46 minutes. In the settings menu, there's a battery preservation feature that prolongs the battery's lifespan based on the user's charging habits. Additionally, the device provides an estimate of the remaining charging time until full, which is a useful feature. When utilizing a faster 33W charging adapter, the estimated time to full charge was reduced to an hour and 23 minutes, which is still reasonably fast. Conclusion So, can the Galaxy A55 5G outperform its predecessor? It's a close call. Considering that the newer Exynos 1480 chipset boasts impressive benchmarks and smoother performance, the camera system remains largely unchanged. On the positive side, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G presents a compelling package with a stunning display, extended battery life, a more polished design, and a consistent software experience. With all the added features, Galaxy A55 signifies a noticeable advancement for the A-Series. While minor drawbacks like uneven bezels and average cameras could benefit from further enhancement, this phone excels in fundamental functions. For the same price as last year's Galaxy A54 at PHP 24990 for the 8GB Faux 256GB configuration. Will this phone also emerge as one of the best sellers this 2024? Only time will tell. It'll be intriguing to witness what Samsung introduces next.